I'm so happy it finally happened, dude. Hours, hours of searching, and I finally got him. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so good. Get out of my face. It's so, yes, dude. Okay, so we've done it. We have the new, all new and improved Grim Reaper run. Finally getting him in act one. This is my first. I like his animations though, dude. He looks so clean. Like, I like the original Reaper design as well. I like, I'm kind of torn between the two, but I'm definitely really digging this. Dude, oh, look at it. Oh, that, that frame, look. Oh, okay. I'm now not sure what to do about my thumbnail. Um, This is going to be amazing. So the Grim Reaper, one of the most polarizing changes that I keep seeing is people going back and forth between his basic attack being physical and whether or not he's actually good or bad. So let's give him a fair chance, break him down and see how this goes. When defeating an enemy, there is a chance to create a soul. When souls are acquired, magic attack is increased permanently by 1%. This is his snowball. Every time 50 out of 150 souls are acquired, all skills are enhanced. So for every 50, he gets an enhancement. Okay. Up to a total of 150, I imagine. I think that's what I'm getting the idea. When swapping appears in an invulnerable state and swings scythe dealing magic damage, when enemies are killed with this attack, it has the same effect as gaining a soul. So you want to do swaps to kill enemies. I see. Harvest, become invulnerable, swing scythe, deal magic damage to enemies in front. Sentence, transforms into dark smoke, become invulnerable, and charges forward while leaving a mark on all enemies. Marked enemies receive damage after three seconds. Sounds very much the same as before. Let me just come over here and hit these dummies. Very much a physical attack. This is something that people don't like about the new Reaper, but you know what, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now, Harvest. Oh, that's the idea. It's a big swipe in the front. What if I do... What the hell? Wow, that is way different, dude. Sentence is way... I've not seen these before. This is my initial... Dude, that's kind of creepy, though. He's like... Ugh. Oh, I love that animation. When he comes out of the smoke. Okay, it's got a pretty high hitbox on it. It's got a pretty high hitbox on it. Let me get to the swap really quick. Um, They're a bit slow, though. Now, the main issue that I've seen people saying is that he doesn't have invincibility when he's supposed to. Like that attack right there, it looks really good, but apparently it may not be invincible. Now the goal, the main goal that I want to do here is actually gain souls. So how much damage are we doing? Oh, he does stay. Oh, oh, oh. He does indeed. Wait. Oh, cool, dude. Oh, I like that. That looks really nice. Oh, it looks cool. It looks cool. I like, dude, it looks cool. Now, hang on, hang on. If I blow up, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm just gawking at the animations. All right, all right. We need to find a lot of magic damage. I'm not really that, really, Mage's Necklace. Uh-huh. No, I'm not taking that. It's gonna, yes, I want this. I have a Solar Sword. The Solar Sword is actually, I'm not gonna get rid of it too soon. Yes, cooldown reduction. Thank you, thank you. I'm not too worried about it because it's still boosting Reaper's basic attacks. So I mean, I'm not too worried about the Solar Sword. Um, I am holding very high hopes that he performs better than Yaksha, right? I don't think Reaper could do worse than Yaksha currently is. Um, if I harvest real quick. What if I do this? Now that's invincible, right? That looked invincible to me. Let me test it. I need to properly test it. Maybe the hitbox on his scythe has gone down. Oh, no, that wasn't invincible. Okay, Harvest is not invincible. Definitely not. That's okay, though. We don't need to worry about Harvest being invincible. I do have... There are new abilities. Damn, dude. I want to... I want to get your soul. I want your soul. And to get that soul, I, I think I need to worry a bit more about killing him with a... A swap here. Do, now. Did I get a soul? I don't know if I got his soul right there. I think I did. I didn't see the number. I forgot to look. Anyway, moving forward, I'm not going to worry about upgrading a secondary skull. I'm going to worry entirely about getting... Wait, I didn't need to destroy that. I could have just taken it. I'm too used to destroying bottled embers. Look at the dash, though. Dude, he looks so creepy, dude. Oh, they've done such a good job making him look amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He looks amazing. Now, if we can just fix up this uh, invincibility issue or invulnerability... I'm not sure what the gimmick here is. Now, if I swap... Oh, yeah, I'm taking damage there. Mmm. I think this is invincible, though. I think Sentence is still working with invincibility. 
So I'm not sure. Harvest. Kill. Nice, nice, nice. Swap before we leave. So I can get the swap in effect. Because I really want to get the swap in. Now, you, sir, I'm afraid are going to have to die a sad death. And then... Ugh. Rip! Ugh. Now... Yeah, okay. Sentence definitely is still invincible. That works just fine. That works just fine. <laughs> Give me that soul. Give me your soul. No, don't. Die. Ugh. Oh, you're all dead. I know you're all dead. Oh, that's so cool. Give me your souls. It's such a cool idea. I'm a little sad to see Will-O-Wisp get retired, but the devs did say that I'm trying to abuse... Uh, if you can't tell what I'm doing right there, I'm trying to see if I can get swaps in the air because... His, uh, his swap-in animation has him stay airborne. It doesn't have gravity attached to it. So if I could do, like, a really cheeky swap, like this. There we go, and hit the guys that are above. Um, that works. I'm just gonna snake my way through here. <laughs> I love that attack. Okay. Harvest might be the weakest link right now. We need to get new abilities. That's what I was gonna say before, is that Reaper has access to two new abilities. Ooh. The virus? For some necromancy? Okay, Willow Wisp may be gone, but only only in spirit. We still have we still have Ooh, what if I got Rake of Fury? Nah, let's not worry about that. Do I do one more reroll? Let's do one more re Yes, dude! Worth it, worth it. Amazing reroll. Ritual stuff. I do really want hate stone, but I've got one gold left. I don't believe it. I'm 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 basically broke. I'd have to sell too many things to get it. We'll leave hate stone there for now and we'll move on. And we'll go and, uh... Oh dear, I forgot. Yeah, with that, it's gonna it's gonna kill a lot faster now. Alright, so if I do it just about here, maybe? Yeah, okay, cool. So we can... I can get to a position where I'm just high enough that I can still... Oh, dude. Now, wait, wait, wait. This is just kills, right? When defeating an enemy in general. Right, so if I kill with the virus, can I still get souls, though? I'm not gonna lose souls from that, right? Oh, no, there we go. We got a soul. Cool, cool, cool. So we're worried about the chance to get souls. I do ideally want to get like all 150, I guess, is, you know, like I'm collecting Pokemon out here. Right. Ooh, I like that. I like that damage. I like that damage. Ugh, get harvested. Give me your souls. I, I do. It's still fun. It's still fun. I'm not bothered by the basic physical attack thing because Reaper to me was always about the skills and less about the basics. Um, granted, old Reaper's basic attack had really a massive range. Maybe the skills get invulnerability when he gets enough souls. Maybe that's part of the gimmick, is that when he gets like 50 souls, he obtains the invincible stat. Um, and gets it that way. Dash. There we go. I'm gonna do one of these and invuln through that. Reap! Reap! I wonder if I could get Yggdrasil's soul. Give me your soul! I'm gonna double dip dash out the way and then do a swap here. I'm a snake. I love that animation, dude. It's so eerie. Him, like, sneaking across the ground all... Oh. My static took the final hit. Fine. Fine. I love how menacing he is, holding his scythe out to the side like that. He's chasing down... Yo, Nias? Thank you. Thank you. I saw Nias in the shop before. I, I didn't buy her because I'm like, oh, I can't really worry about buying Nias right now. I'll, I'll let it go for now and I'll get it later. Now, okay, static. I see. We're going to be that way, are we? Swap out. Oh, I got two. You have the range on that. Oh. Oh, hello. Try me. It feels good sneaking past them. I, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm sorry. I know I'm repeating myself with that, that ability, but it feels good, dude. It feels really good. Uh, Sage's time. I don't want it. Because I'm not worried about slime rigging anymore, I'm actually just going to pass up now on items that I really don't care about, to be honest. Uh, let me get the swap real quick. Now, if I can not have these guys die immediately, I would love to get a swap and harvest them. Ooh, there we go. We've got 51. Ooh! 51. So we've, we've had an upgrade. Is that is that my understanding? Become invulnerable swings, turn to dark smoke. It looks like it's still the same. All skills are enhanced. But it doesn't say how they're enhanced. Maybe... I'm not sure, dude. I'm, maybe the... the It's still got a minute cooldown on Harvest? And he's in a wide area. Let's see. Does it change? Oh! Old Harvest! Sentence goes further. 
and it does a lot more that whoa dude okay cool so, oh the ultimate snowballer maybe now the question is has the swap changed no the swap is still <laughs> swap is still not invincible that's fine that's fine here let me let me activate this and i'm gonna i'm gonna snake past you real quick um can i get more enemies on the screen can i get more i don't want to just fight like one dude i shouldn't have snaked on you right there there let me do this still pauses time i like it does the snaking effect hit it doesn't hit nias though hmm my sentence isn't touching nias kind of a problem for triggering nias but then again I can live with that. I can live with that. If I do this in the air... Oh, yeah. I get... Ooh, more mobility from it. I can use it as, like, a, an extra dash. Yo, the ring. Thank you for the ring. Uh, now we have Solar Sword and Lunar Ring in harmony. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's not rigged. I promise you. I should, I should just shut up and stop even saying it, dude. People don't believe me. They don't care. Um... Hey, at least it's working out. It's working out. Throw the head. Swap. Damn, I didn't quite kill him. <laughs> you knew I was going to do it. You knew I was going to do it. Don't lie. You knew I was going to do it. Harvest this man's. Come here, Tim. I'm here to take your soul. I don't know. So far, I'm really... Ooh. So far, I'm really liking this. It's It's fun. Now, is it full range still? I need to test the the full screen effect of this and see if it's still hitting the way that the old one did. Because I'm thinking maybe it won't hit the same way until... Ooh, here we go. What the hell? Alright, I got souls, but... Souls? So... Souls for me? Okay, okay. Was it static that hit just then? Because that wasn't my, my, my swap. Hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at the... So oh, dude, 115 already? Oh, 120 already? Wait, that means they upgraded again. We're over 100 now. So what's the change this time? Is it still the same? Hang on. It looks the same. Oh. Maybe it's... No, I think that's still the same distance. Maybe I've got to get to 150 beforehand. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited, though, but 120 stacks... Is he doing, like, a full 120% more magic damage now because of this? Dude, don't. Don't mess with me. I will reap your su- Dude, oh, he's hitting. He's doing some damage, though. Don't don't, don't worry about that. Oh. oh! Okay, he's still- The harvest is still- Someone told me harvest was trash now. Harvest is not trash. What? You guys are crazy. Bead of darkness. Might be what we need now that I- th Dude! Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Insignia because we've got a lot of good items already. I'm not too worried about it. But if I have the bead to stun enemies upon swapping, that might solve the invincibility issue for the Reaper. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me come down. Let me come down. Swap. Oh, yeah, that's... that's. It didn't stun the guys at the bottom because I mistimed that. Um, like you wouldn't believe. But wait, wait, wait. Did it actually put a mark on the shield, dude, despite the fact that he blocked facing forward? Oh, if that's the case. If that's the case, my son, that is amazing. That is amazing. Die. Die. Here, here, let me, let me, let me harvest you. I, I, I'm loving this, dude. It, ooh. Nah, not the execution axe. I mean, you could arguably try and make him into like a pseudo hybrid skull, but I'm not going to do that. Hang on. Swap. They will get stunned for long enough. Yes. Go through here. That guy is well and truly dead. We come up here. We do this and we do this. Uh, that, wow, that was, f damn, dude. Damn, dude. Okay, okay. I'm believing. I'm believing in this. I, I believe in this so hard, dude. This is amazing. Um, no. Also, I, someone told me that if you just walk out of this room and you don't actually sell or destroy it, it destroys automatically. Now, I don't have any effects that do extra money for me, so I'm at 4,700. Let me see, because I've never actually confirmed that. Wait, no, hang on. 5569. Oh, it looks like it does. Oh, it does. Okay, so I can just walk out of that room. Yo, thank you for that tip, person who told me. That's uh very, very helpful. Um, 
because I would otherwise just stay there and fight in that room. Now, more tactics, more magic damage. The hate stone that we had to pass up before has come back. It's very good because we're not going to find hate stone very easily the further into the run that we get. Um, I kind of want to keep Prayer of Grace because Harvest has a long cooldown and using my skills is my my main ambition. Let's ditch the basic sword. We don't need that right now. Reroll, reroll. Some fun stuff there, but no. I could get Bone Hourglass for more swaps to get more attacks with Reaper, but we're kind of close to maxing out. Does it go higher, though? Is what I don't understand yet. Is Can it go above 150? Because if it can, that would be kind of crazy. Swap. Get the stun. Reap. Die. That's doing a lot more damage than I'm, I expected it to. Get harvested. 900 hit. Nice. I really, I'm so, I, oh, I want to know. Can we go above 150? Can we go above and beyond? Does Reaper become extra, extra dummy? Now, hold up. Before I do this, I'm going to come up here. Yep. Before static triggers. No! Before something trick. No! All my kills, dude! They're all Damn it! That was so many kills. Oh. It's the It's this, isn't it? It's got... Damn it, dude! Was it even static? I swear static didn't trigger right then. Something else did something, right? Because it was the, the, the one necromancy that came off of the, the, the virus. Maybe I need to get rid of the virus. The virus is kind of messing with me right now. Okay, sister's time. Why is it messing with me like this, dude? It's, it's... Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Goldmane Knights, the Arjutants, the Leana Sisters, the Sistoires. Now, I can't... Hold up. Do it. I got one. I got one. It's okay. It's okay. I got one. Snake through her. And then we do this. Get them both. Get them both. Get them both. Oh, my, my, my Nias didn't break. Oh, they broke them themselves. Ooh, you hear that slappy sound? Yeah, this sentence is 100% immune. Like, definitely. Now, if I snake through here... Oh! <laughs> it feels so good. It has that perfect Omiyawa Mo moment, but like Magic Sword has, where... Did I time it? I did time it. I did time it correctly. Nah. Oh yeah, he just hits full screen. I love it. Activate Nias. Here, ma'am. Here, ma'am. I was gonna sentence her. She killed herself by diving into the glass. Oh, dude. Um. Yeah, this is good! You people are crazy. They were saying, though, that you really want to get Reaper in Act 1 or not at all. I'm curious. I mean, I'm at 147 and I'm only just getting to Act 3. Maybe that's the case, but I think there should be enough enemies in the game that if you use the swap mechanic to your advantage, maybe you shouldn't have much of an issue. So far, Reaper definitely doesn't feel like he's he's got many issues with uh, racking up the killies. Ugh. Getting the bead for him is definitely a big help, though. I, I will admit that. The bead is, like, amazing utility for him. What the hell did that, anyway? What is there an initial tick of damage when he activates Harvest that I'm not seeing? Like, what the what, what the hell? You know, in a flame? To make the swap stronger? Nah, nah, we'll skip that. Wait, we're at 150. We've done it. We're at 156. It does go above. Ooh. Ooh. Become invulnerable and swing at sight doing magic damage for oh for each enemy struck with this skill increase magic attack by ten percent for each enemy hit. If you cleave an entire room, that's massive, dude. Transform the dark smoke. Become invulnerable. Charges toward all enemies, leaving marks on all that they touch. The mark disappears after three seconds. Deals magic damage. Enemies with less than thirty percent HP are cursed instead. Ten percent for adventurers and bosses. Good. The curse disappears after three seconds, instantly killing the enemy. You can insta-kill adventurers and bosses. It has the, the, the poison fang effect. Ridiculous, my son. Here, let me, let me, let me. Um, I wanna, I wanna, I can't. Ugh, let me do this. I know it's gonna, yep, hang on, hang on. Now do it now. Boom. Massive magic damage boost right there. Which actually makes it easier for us to... Oh, the guys up here all die as well. Damn it, I was going to test out the big magic damage. I see 8 stack. So 165, this just keeps climbing. Oh, dude! 
Dude! Okay, I need to get rid of Solar Sword. I, I don't care about the harmony effect. I, I just... I, I just don't anymore. I'm going to ditch the virus, but I feel like the virus still has a place at the moment. This is insane. This is exactly what I want. My, my time waiting is paying off. Yo, hello, Broga. Can I just... Ugh, take your soul. Money, money room. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. I'm going to swap back and get ready for another swap. Having the bead is so good, dude. The bead is like one of his best items now. Kind of crazy because no one really likes the bead that much, but... I'm okay with this. No. I'm looking for more tactics. We're at five tactics. Just give me more tactics. Tactics and broken stuff. No. You watch someone be like, Beals, you could have had like 10 Oberon runs here. Ugh. Get sliced. Let me drop down here real quick and do one of these. Ugh. Let me sneak through you and do one of these. Ugh. <laughs> Die. I'm gonna swap out. I'm just gonna wait a second. Wait for these dudes to all mass. Swap. Harvest. Oh, it's so good. 180%? What's the- is there a cap to this? Is there a cap, I wonder? Because this is stupid, dude. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, 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 it's all dead. Yeah, okay. Yo, slime boy? Uh, wait, is there anything I really don't want you to duplicate? I mean, I like all my items right now and I kind of, like, really, really like them and want them, so I'm not really fussed about what you duplicate. I mean, preferably Nether Manor, These Black Steel, something with tactics, but either way. Yeah, there you go. That works. So I think what I might do... <sighs> I'm only getting 69% of the total damage boost from Nether Manor. What I might do is ditch the virus here. I was going to ditch the, the Grace, but I still think it's worth doing it this way instead. So now I'm going to come in here. Do -do 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 Swap now. Yes, good timing, good timing, good timing. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do one of these. I got all three of them. Oh, you're dead, lady. She's she's dead. Oh, my God. She had low life. She was, she was done. Snake throw. Go for it, sir. Oh, he died. Dude, this, this cursing effect is pretty cool. Now, if I snake through you and do one of these, do you just, are you just dead? Oh, you're dead now. Oh, dead in a bit. Oh, dude, it's so, it feels so cool. It feels, I haven't seen the other abilities yet, but this is cool, dude. This is nice. I'm going to sell this. Um, I'm okay with Reaper. He's more intuitive now, uh, in, in the sense that once you get all of your, your upgrades done, he feels more like old Reaper, but... I understand people when they were saying that he feels like he's worse now. I, I get that because the basic attack is now physical. I mean, it's just, it's leading you into the idea that with these upgraded abilities, he might be really, really, really strong, right? Like he's still obliterating rooms. I think making his basic attack physical is just a, yeah, more spirits, is a concession to try and prevent him from actually breaking the game in a sense by getting too strong. If his basic attack was you know, 150% stronger along with his skills, then he might just be too good. But either way, whatever their reasoning is, I'm okay with this, dude. I'm not I'm not fussed by this whatsoever. He is still annihilating rooms with the greatest of ease, dude. There's, there's no... I don't want to say there's no thinking. There's a little bit of thinking now, but Reaper was always the, uh, the... the. Can I get souls from killing you? I should be able to, right? Oh, I can. Oh, good. Yes, we need to kill everything here. Everything. Yep, yeah, which means all of you guys, uh, come out. Come out, come out. Urgh, sneaky snakies. Look at all the cells, dude. Now, obviously, they're going to work the same way as with Kyrian kills, where it wants you to... Cheeky boy, I couldn't hit you there. It wants you to, uh, kill them yourself, the explodey dudes, instead of... Ooh, can I get souls from these guys? Instead of having them blow themselves up, you need to be the one to do it. Oh, that hit. Oh, I got a soul. Yo, okay. Open all the containers. Open all the containers up. <laughs> Just need to open this container. It's it's being a bit difficult. All right, these guys come out. And now we kill them all. Snake through these guys. Dude, 200 souls. Feels good. Feels good. See, the basic is... It, I'm, I'm okay with the dude. I don't care. I don't care about this basic because it's all about spamming the skills. Although the animations look beautiful, though. I need to give mad props. I thought the Reaper was fine before. Like, he doesn't look bad. He looks good. You guys designed a good Reaper. Now I see that Reaper could actually manage to 
to look even more like menacing. The red eye, the... That it... The, ooh, when he sits there holding it like that. Ugh. Die. The dash? And this, like... Dude, dude, the animation of coming out of the mist, it looks so clean. Now, Ceremonial Dagger is going to be busted because we've got the Black Steel Dagger here. Sadly, we have to get rid of Prayer of Grace as the weakest option, which means we do lose 12% damage from uh, Nether Mana Suppressor because we lost some cooldown reduction effects or cooldown increasing effects, but you know what? 12% is, is nothing because we got to 7 out of 7 tactics, which means, what's that? 45% more raw damage plus the 55 for magic attack. Full 7 out of 7 tactics Reaper run. Oh, I can't believe we got it. This is actually amazing. It's amazing. I don't even know what else I'm looking for. Am I looking for anything in particular now? I know that there's more I can get because I've duplicated some tactics here, but the only thing left to do is replace the bead. Um, if I find something else that I want to keep. I could have kept it. Oh, I could re-roll. Here we go. All right, all right. So at risk of making the run worse by getting rid of a good ability... I want to try and get the guillotine that he has access to now, and the nether portal, I think it's called, something along that line. Um, he does have new moves. I want to see what they're like. I won't get to show you what they're like as a default ability. I'm going to have to show you what they're like once they're upgraded, because we're literally past that point now. But, hang on, if I do a quick swap here, I can just, yeah, kill you really quick. Come over here. Ugh, get some. Are you dead? Oh yeah, you're dead. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna say goodbye to Harvest and Sentence, the old abilities. Let me get something new. I've got a bit of money to work with. Oh wait, there's Guillotine. Um, oh sorry, Guillotine for all of you people out there who like to say it the right way. Guillotine. I say Guillotine, Guillotine. I go back and forth. Swing the Guillotine blade, dealing magic damage. When a single target is struck by the blade, it deals 44% more damage. Um, can I find some target dummies? Oh, oh! Oh, so this is just a big... Oh, hold up, hold up. So it said when a single target is struck. So if I do it with, like, everyone here... It's a decent range. It's big. I think that's a lot bigger now that it's been upgraded. I want to space it, though. A little bit closer. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to... Sp the cooldown is nice and short with, like, what? Baseline 12 seconds? That's not bad. 1300 non-crit on a single target is pretty disgusting. Yep, 1100 non-crit. Pretty... Dude, gnarly. I like it. Hang on, if I can... If I can be really quick... I can maybe build some stuff and quickly drop it. Damn it, I, I misspaced. Ah! Hang on, hang on. Out here, 1800 crit. That's less than I expected, but whatever. Okay, so that's guillotine. So I, I could stick with this move set, but I want to try and get the nether portal as well. Ah, there you go. Fissures of the nether world and guillotine. So we're going to get both of them. Splits the world with its scythe, creating a gateway to the nether world. Many souls emerge from the fissure, dealing magic damage. Oh, is this is this Willow Wisp? Enemies in front of the fissure receive continuous magic damage and take 20% more. Show me. Ooh. Oh, dude, it's the Golem effect from Alchemist. Oh, so wait, now that it's... Oh, it's... It just continuously deals damage? Oh, dude, that's sick. Okay, so these two abilities don't have any invincibility, so... Unlike with Sentence, oh, you could just... Ooh, okay, we'll do the rest of the run with these abilities. We saw already how... uh, Because we lost Death by Fire, right? Setting the room on fire is gone. Uh, we don't have that anymore. I believe these four abilities are the four abilities we have access to. I missed. Surprise, surprise there. Now, if I swap out... Come walk over here, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh! Does a lot of damage. I had to make sure that the fissure was still dealing damage after you swap out. Because some, you know, some, some skulls, you know, like to be rude and not continue their effects once you swap out. But Reaper is a team player. The guillotine goes through the floor, so it hits at level. So you can, I believe you could use that to, wait. Ah, oh, dude, ah. Uh... Yeah, no invincibility on the startup on this. You need to kind of use it preemptively, right? You're going to drop it preemptively before the bad stuff starts hitting you. In that regard, I still really like Harvest because Harvest has the full uh, screen pause effect still. And Sentence has invincibility on it, which it never used to have. That's a direct buff. It's slower, 
but I'm okay with it being a slower animation if I'm invincible during it, dude, easily. Uh, will I get pushed back if I swap in the air doing this? I won't? Thank you. Now, if I do this, then I do this, then I activate the guillotine. Oh my god, dude! Yo! Oh! Oh! What even did that? Was that the guillotine or the or the netherworld? Or was it Nias? Wow! 215 souls, dude. 215% damage. You could easily get over 300, right? You could probably get to like close to four if you were just really... Like, I had rooms back in, in, in wave rooms where... Remember where the virus killed off like an entire room of dudes? I could have got like an extra 30 or 40 from that. Damn, this is powerful. Of course, we've also got seven tactics. We've got Nether Mana Suppressor. We've got Thieves Black Steel Dagger. So I guess the benefit of the Fissure effect is that we've now got more um, hits to trigger Thieves Black Steel Dagger, assuming that it works that way. Hang on, if I if I use Guillotine from about here, will it hit him? Ooh, did it? it? It looked like it did, dude. Oh, he, he died, that's for sure. Rip open a veil. Just stand over here. Are you going to walk into it, son? Yeah, you walk into it, buddy. Drop it on him. Now, let me let me just drop this here. Hang on, hang on. So I want them... No, 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 no. No, 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 my little friends. I want you guys to actually die. Oh, so that actually drops to the ground. Okay, hang on, hang on. If I stand here... Sons, can you come back? Yep. I got one. If I do this... There's no, like like high hitbox on that no there we go we got him we got him we got him i want to make sure they die from my blade just in case they decide to give me some souls i'm still hungry for more damage this is this is crazy cool swapped with the stun reap guillotine oh they're dead they're dead they're dead they're dead i get to slap you dude let me just slap you to death with the power of my skiff must skithy sithy scythy wifey die. Um, uh, we drop down here. I'm gonna swap and get the stun. Oos. I'm gonna guillotine. Oos. I'm not gonna drop the netherworld portal thingy because I want to save that for the final drop. I'm gonna swap out, break some of these little nice roses. Because they're pretty. Give me down here, give me down here, give me down here. Alright, alright. Swap. Stun. No, son. Die. I'm torn. I'm actually torn, a bit like the, the portal to hell, on what moveset I like the most. I really like the guillotine. It's fast, it's snappy, and it hits really hard. But I think Sentence's invincibility or Harvest invincibility, I'm starting to think that maybe Fissure plus Harvest. They're the two longest cooldowns, or Fissure plus Sentence? Maybe? But in terms of getting, like, big stupid damage, there's a lot you can do here, dude. Ugh. Didn't crit. If that had crit, you would have been D-E-D -E -D dead. Yo! Hold up. Hold up. My lads, don't do it. Hang on. Die. Ah, oh, the lightning. The lightning always getting in my way. Get up here. Uh... Yeah, you, you best believe I'm gonna get a big swap it. Ugh! Yeah, I'll, I'll cut open a portal right here. Oh, yeah, they died. Oh, my God. I should have let them live to summon dudes. 259%. This is... I'm happy with this. I'm I'm happy with this. This is fine. Yo, don't fall off the edge. You need to turn into souls for me. <laughs> he just died, dude. Um, on one hand, guillotine is going to be amazing for the hero fight because of the, the single target damage. On the other hand, no invincibility, though. Oh, that was... Dude, I didn't realize how much damage. It was. That was premature. Oh, he died. Didn't even matter. He just died anyway. Here, son. Um, slap, slap, guillotine. Die. Let me dash over here. Master Fighter, I will take this. Sorry, Bead. Your time has come. The time has come to go... Oh! I don't need it. I don't need Mana Bone. Tactics won't get any higher. And Mana Bone's effect will do more damage. But I'm thinking about it. The Netherworld has a 35 second cooldown. Guillotine's got a 12. I don't have infinite boner for, for like stacking them. 
and there's no raw damage here. At the very least, Master Fighter makes Guillotine even more dangerous because it goes hand in hand, right? I'm, I'm actually not worried about that. I'm going to walk away. This is that extra tactics I was trying to think of. I'm going to walk away, save money for later on shops where we start getting more legendary things. Um, ugh, die. Gotta remember I don't have um, the bead anymore. So I'm liable to get more damage done to me. Drop it on them. Hurt them. Make them suffer. Make them regret ever messing with the power of Big Grim Reapy. Yep, that man. This little guy was lucky enough to have walked away. Mmm. Mmm. I'm definitely, like, trying to be considerate and think of what's the best bet for me. Yo, that guy's really high in the air, too. It is like the golem effect from the alchemist. It hits really high. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm trying to... Ooh, that would be nice, but I don't want it just yet. I'm, I'm trying to think of abilities. Like, what would you say is your favorite, like, moveset or the ideal moveset for something like this? Because I'm still thinking that one of the invincible abilities is kind of, like, really, really necessary. I can see the portal being really good because not only does it do good damage, but it, it boosts damage taken. And effects like that in this game are pretty rare, to be honest. Like, you don't find that very often. Like, a hunt effect. Or, like, what Water Skull has now. Water's got one of those. Nah, son, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a little bit off the top. Yo, your ball. That, that, that slashing sound, though. Wait for it. Let me show you. Ooh, that sounds nice. Drop this right here. He's dead. You're so dead, son. No. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Slish slash. Um, um, I'm killing you. I was going to rhyme with that, but I, I, I couldn't without it being something to do with ass. Uh, come through here. I've been hit more often since getting rid of the bead. Uh, coincidence? I think not. And I have definitely taken more damage than swapping the abilities around, but... Oh, well. Who do we get? Oh, perfect. Life and death squaring off. Bring it, cleric lady. Absolutely bring it. I will, I will activate this. I don't know why I did that, knowing full well that she'd probably move. Oh, that hit really hard. Yo, her abilities aren't to be messed with, dude. She's... She's dangerous. This one attack always touches me. Hang on, if I activate this, then do this. Oh! That 2,500 crit! Man, Reaper hits hard. Yo, Dark Paladin? Oh, I could swap out Skull for the, the, the full darkness run. Yo, the edgiest Dark Boy run returns? Okay, DP could get us his magic shield, which then boosts our damage even further, right? So I'm going to do one of these. We're going to do one of these. Let me just swap really quick and, and take that guy's, that guy's life. No, stop that. Stop that. Now, if I activate this here... Oh, yeah. Sucks to be you, son. <laughs> it definitely sucks to be you. Now, if I drop this in the air... Is that is that a smarter idea? To kind of, like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that works. And see, I think what you can get away with with this is baiting them to walk into it. Like, you activate it as they're running towards you. Because it's not an immediate effect, is it? It takes a second for the, the actual fissure to release the souls. So... You could kind of delay it a little bit, I guess. There is there is a bit of methodology there. Um, dude, even Dark Paladin's hitting really hard now. But I want to try and get that... I shouldn't do it. I should actually be doing this. To try and get more souls. I'm almost at 300. Feels good. Feels good. And hang on. If I do this now, I can, I can kind of... Cheese you a little bit, son. There you go. Die. Die. If I get to 300... So I should get to 300 pretty easy, actually. Um... Maybe get close to 350 by the time we get past Joan and get up to the hero. And all of this is just 1% magic damage per stack. So 294% more damage is ridiculous. You're dead, son. I'm sorry to say. But you're, you're finished. 295. We're getting there. We are getting there. Feels good. Activate Nias. Throw the Dark Wave. Rip. We now have that shield to get more damage done. Big crits. Big critties. Do it. Summon them. 
They will die. There we go. Hold up, hold up. Oh, so I like how the damage, I just noticed, it doesn't actually do damage until it hits the ground. So even if it passes through, the damage is delayed until the actual guillotine hits the ground. It's kind of funny, to be honest. Ah, oh, that was a bad... I, I, I thought he was going to jump the other way and I was going to be in the air and avoid all that damage. Hang on, let me get this set up pre preemptively. Bait them into it. You're going to jump back, so I know you will. Which means I can do this now and catch you. Yep, yep, yep. We swap to DP. Reaper is a boy who likes the swap now. He really likes the swap. Throw this. Bait. We just broke all of that stuff in one go, didn't we? He went so far! Buddy, I was trying to space myself. That was a 1600 non-crit. I was trying to space myself that you wouldn't touch me, but he did. It's okay, we've got almost 13,000 gold. We can afford to buy some food, I think. Um, yo, Bomber would actually be kind of good with Reaper if you did also have the bead to get really fast swaps. Oh, Demonomicon, dude. I've got everything. There's there's nothing else to take. There is nothing else to worry about. It's This is like... If I took... Oh, man... See, Hate Stone is the weak link, but even if I took the, the Mana Bone for it, I'm getting hit, and that 55%, like, I, I plan to get hit to trigger that effect. And Demonomicon is a lot of magic damage, but it's not worth losing a Tactics, because we go down from 120 to 75. So in addition to what you're already losing. Like, that's... That's too much, dude. That's too much. Like, that 45% plus just losing the ring alone... 75% magic lost? It's not worth. I don't even know. I shouldn't even... Ah, oh, and I also had the Stone of the Air I could have got earlier. If I got that at the beginning of the run, broken. Like, replace Hate Stone with that, if anything. Broken. I'm going to save cash. I'll save cash. I don't really know what for, but I'll save cash. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to drop this on them. They all die. We're over 300 now. Feels good. I'm going to come over here and do a swap in a second. Uh, 316. Kill that dude. Stand here and bait them. Come forward, dude. Step into the darkness. He didn't step forward fast enough. Drop this on him. I'm going to swap out really quick. And do my best to not... Okay, they're all getting hit anyway. Who cares? Did it actually kill the... Dude, the, the static... Did the static kill the big the big sword dude? With the shield? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ugh. More souls for me. 337 souls. Alright, we're gonna do two things here. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna swap out. And that's gonna break. And you better believe I'm waiting, dude. I'm gonna bait the big man into doing an attack first, though. Because he's the one I'm worried about hitting me. And we swap. I don't care if I get hit a little bit. Because I'm, I'm just... I'm just chasing after the big damage, dude. Then we swap. I want those. I want those uh, souls. Give me souls. Big man, do a thing. Thank you. Reap. Didn't get them all. Doesn't matter. We'll just finish them off. I'm being so greedy, and I realize that some of you might be bothered by my greed. But you know who's not bothered by my greed? Me! I'm not bothered by my greed. I'm not bothered by my greed. Ugh. Because we're getting a lot of souls, and I'm almost at 400 because of my greed. You see, greed is good. Greed is good. Greed is good. Swap. I'll save getting this until after I'm done, because I might get tagged between now and then, and I can... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, son. I got hit pretty hard right there, but that was pretty cool. 2,800. He's hitting really hard. Really hard with attacks that, honestly... He never used to hit this hard. If this... The whole idea is... He's probably going to become a much better boss slayer. Which to me is fantastic. It's like they realize... You know what we could do? Is have Reaper have the best of both worlds. He's now going to be able to fight regular rooms just fine. But he's going to collectively power up over the run. So that by the time he gets to the hero... It's like Death himself is walking into the room to just end the hero. Now, the problem is no invincibility on some of these moves. The good part is, though, it's just a matter of working with the abilities and using them appropriately. Like, like, look at this. We can we can kill this thing incredibly quickly right here. Oh, yeah. 
This is the kind of boss fight damage that Reaper was not known for. So I'm actually super pleased with Reaper's performance here. This is ridiculous. Hold up, if I if I delay for it, no, don't. I was gonna delay and get a, a cheeky kill. Die, little friend. I'm sorry. Let me just cut open a a portal in space. I shouldn't have done that. But the cooldown's coming back. It's coming back. It'll be okay. Um, we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna wait for her to do a thing because I think she's going to teleport away. Knowing my luck. No. Hey, no. Let's do this. This. No. Wait. 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 She did. I don't care, lady. Five, six. Yep, I don't care. Drop it on her. Dude, the damage! Reaper does not do this kind of damage, dude. He, he does not. This is not Reaper. It's Reaper Plus. It's Omega Reaper. The Reapening has begun! Oh! <laughs> Just drop it on a forehead, dude. I, I'm pleased! I'm pleased with this! Now, granted, the run is kind of... The, the items are busted. Everything is strong, but even if we had some slightly weaker build without all the tactics, I'm still pretty pleased with what he's doing, what he's pulling off. Now, what I do want to do here is try and get as many souls. Oh, we're already at almost 400. Amazing, amazing. Let me drop this really quick. I shouldn't be swapping out, but I want to swap for the, the, the tag back in. Um, he just He just steps into range and dies. 401%. 401, 402. 402. Oh my dudes. Alright, alright. When I'll, I'll when I'm done, when I'm done, I'm gonna ask you guys to calculate this damage, because I'm not gonna sit here and try and Ooh. I think Nias is better, because Nias actually does wait, I've got Theus Black Steel Dagger. I don't need to worry about that. No 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 no. We let Nias do its job. Let me just rotate real quick and take a look at all the silly stuff that we have on offer. Oh man! If Infinite Bone were to trigger and give me like double fissure of the netherworld, like how does that happen? Like what? Do you get double fissures? Like you can have two of them on the ground at once and have like two lots of 20% for a total of 40%? Does it work that way? I don't know and I don't want to test it because I've got a really strong build already, dude! I need to get more Reaper action in the future! Ah! Oh. I'm so excited, dude, to try out this stuff. Ugh. Have this dropped on ya. I'm gonna sit here and slap the hell out of you, though. The basic attack damage is really, really small, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care about his basic attack damage being small when he has access to this kind of nonsense, dude. This is ridiculous. Um, it is that time. I want to thank you for being here and being part of the amazing Reaper run. I, I love this. It's, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. It is kind of what he needed. I'm going to be honest. This is kind of what he needed. He needed to be able to fight bosses better, to fight single target better. I'm getting some hits here, but I don't care. I want to stack this up. 420! Um, and, and it's, it's doing it, dude. This is, this is doing it. I want to, I want to bait some of these dudes into a quick swing and then swap. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, can I get to 450? If I get to 450, that'd be insane. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm sorry. I know I'm prolonging the video, but I want to see. I might get hit here and there. I just, I just want to see. 440. I'm, I'm worried about static getting in the way because static is gonna kill a couple. If they stop to do an attack, they stop moving, so I'm able to get a quick, uh, like pile them up together. 447. Are the other guys down here still here? No, they're not. I'm not gonna get to 450. Some of these dudes have died. I don't have access to it anymore. All right, we'll just take this last guy. 448, and the hero himself only counts as 449 if I kill him and take his soul. Ah, oh, dude, I was so close to 450%. So, uh, 448 stacks of souls for the Reaper. We have Master Fighter. We have Nether Mana Suppressor with 57% act uh, extra, extra, what to say extra right there. Extra magic added on top of it, 60% baseline. 30% here, 30% here. 55% conditional when I get hit, 55% conditional here when I get crits, but I have 45% bonus crit right now thanks to Thieves and the 5% on this, so that's not really hard to get. We have 50% here, uh, crit, we have another 30% here, and we have 7 tactics, meaning another 120 on top of all of that. 
are we pushing close to like 900%? Like how high is that in terms of magic damage? Because also factor in if you want for the fun of it, the extra 30% damage from Paladin's shield being turned on. Like, damn, dude. He is building numbers. Let me just throw this. Let me do one of these. Let me swap. Let me get Reapy in here. I'm going to activate this. Drop this on you. Did I miss? I think I missed. Drop it. Ah, oh, dude. He's doing damage when he never used to. Look how fast he did that. All right. Same thing. We're going to... I might just hit him with a guillotine instead. Sorry, a guillotine. I might guillotine him. No. No. Oh, yeah, you're going to do that. Drop it from above. Stop that. Wait, swap now. That way I can swap back in. All right, all right, all right. Get ready, get ready. I'm going to drop Nias. We're going to swap with the Reaper. About now. Yep. Do this, do this. Damage. Go, go, gadget, DPS. He moved out the way, you ass. He's below half-life already, though. Got him with a 2800 crit. Tear open a space and time. Oh, dude, it's so good. He's a boss killer now. They made death actually dead. He's terrifying, dude. He does so much damage. Now, it's conditional damage. But all you gotta do is play smart, take advantage of his swapping ability, take advantage of clearing out big rooms full of enemies. Uh, tear it open, dude. Ah, oh, ah, oh, be be harvested, be, uh, be. Didn't break it. Damn, these are some strong flowers. Your soul to the netherworld. I didn't get a soul. 448? Okay, daddy keeps his soul for another day. And there we go, that's the Reaper. In case you couldn't tell from watching that, I'm pretty happy with him. Not only is he still able to blitz through rooms, he still has harvest. Sentence has, in my opinion, gotten an improvement. It's less rapid, but it's more thematic. He's invincible. He turns into the cool mist ugh, and undulates his way through enemies and then takes their souls. It's it's It feels cool. He feels like... Death come out there to take your soul and, and drag you down to the underworld. It feels really, really nice. I'm especially impressed with how the chief complaint with Reaper was that he wasn't really good at boss slaying. And now with this ramping effect that he has with his souls, you saw he's able to do it now. He can do it quite well on his own. He didn't need Paladin to be there to do anything. Normally, some characters who can't kill bosses that well effectively on their own require other people to kind of carry some slack, right? A little bit of slack to make them work a little bit better. That's not the case here. He works brilliantly. Now, the basic attack being physical, I didn't notice. I didn't care. Like, I was I was using it to slap one dude here and there just to kill him off without wasting a cooldown. Didn't really seem to matter, much like with Sword and Paladin. They both have dominantly magical playstyles, but physical attacks... I didn't care whatsoever. What I do care about is how cool Reaper is, how much damage he can do, and also, we got to almost 450% with those souls. I think if you find him in Act 2, it should be okay. Because even if I were to remove all of the hypothetical souls that I got, or the, the actual souls that I got from Act 1, you were still easily over 300%. Easily. I think you should be okay getting him in Act 2. Act 3, you might be pushing to get to 150% by the Adventurer fight if you find him late in Act 3, like after the Adventurers. Otherwise, he's fine. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I've rambled on enough about the Reaper and how cool he is. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.